Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of my Saints playbook. We're going to do some updates. A couple days ago, they put out the, uh, the April update on Madden, and in my opinion... Cover two got a lot stronger, based mostly off of the fact that the cornerbacks react a little bit differently. They now redirect receivers on certain routes inside so the safeties can cover them. I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit later. But ultimately, cover two, uh, which has been one of my defenses of choice for a while now, got a lot stronger. So I had to find some plays that really are uniquely, uh, you know, attacking the new adjustments. And I'm going to show you some of those plays today. The play that I'm talking about, there are two plays right now. They're right in front of you. The Saints under and the Saints goes whip out of the um, out of the gun empty Y Saint. Like I said, I'm in the Saints playbook, if that's not obvious. I put out a lot of plays out of this formation in the past. And maybe I'll touch on a few of them in this video. I'm not quite sure yet if I want to make this a short video or a long video. If I do make this a short one play video and you want to see the full version, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to put that out in the future. But I've already put out a ton of plays out of this formation, including plays like the Saints Corner, the Saints Drags. I put those out a long time ago. Also cover two beaters, easy cover two beaters. Uh, the Saints Fork I put out several years back. Uh, and, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to improve upon that. So starting off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the Saints uh, under because I think this is the best one right now. This is a cover two and a cover three one play touchdown. I'm going to go over both in this video. So this play right here. If you watch my channel, you've seen me run this play. It's a very simple play. All I do is I motion out the running back and basically just put everybody on streaks. That's really all it is. A cover two, if you stretch it out like this, or even a cover three, it's a home run against cover three, to be honest. It still is. But if you stretch out a defense like this, uh, where basically it's just all streaks in a cover two, you're going to score either on the inside or the outside. The B route, the X route, these things in the past have, have worked. As you can see right here. The, the safety's on top of it now, rips the ball out. That's what I was expecting. So if I go to the replay, the reason that this had that effect is because these quarterbacks on the outside react way differently now. They know that, you know, a streak, if the safety's not, you know, out far enough to cover, a streak's going to get gone, and that's typically what would happen. Now, you can see the quarterbacks on both sides of the field are going to bump this receiver inside. So, number one, I mean, the, the acceleration is way slower. He's way behind uh, where he should be, where the where the receipt, where the uh, safety is. Where normally, if he's just running up the sideline, the safety's got a pick, and either one's really covered. So, you can see how on both sides of the field, these cornerbacks are going to push these receivers inside towards one another. Right here, you can see how they're both pushing inside. The linebacker pushes the safety outside towards the, or, I'm sorry, the uh, linebacker pushes the the tight end outside towards the safety, and then the cornerback pushes the receiver inside towards the safety to the point where they're basically running side by side and the and the safety can really cover a jump ball against either one of them so they're both eliminated by that push by that redirection of their routes so that's why you know cover two in certain scenarios is much better and that's what brings me to today's video as i find a route that cannot be pressed cannot be jammed and cannot be redirected inside to the cover two safety and you're looking at it right now even if you're aware of it or not the Saints goes whip and the Saints under out of the gun empty Y Saint. Uh, like I said, Saints playbook <laughs> is a play that has that very route in both of them. So we're going to go, we're going to pick, uh, I'm going to focus on the Saints under because that's also a cover three one play touchdown. But ultimately you can probably make this exact same look out of both. So, I mean, normally when I run a play like this, I would uh, substitute the Th Thomas's route with my fastest receiver, maybe like Ted Ginn. Thomas is only like eight, nine speed in this game. He's not very fast, but on this particular play, you don't have to make any adjustments at all. You just have to time the throw. You're going to see, like I said, the B route gets outside, and then if I uh, send it up top, you can see he just runs right past the corner, right past the safety. No adjustments on the play whatsoever. Let's go and let's watch the replay to show you what I'm talking about here. I mean, I should have did it a little bit differently. I should do it where, where this guy's on the streaks so and see the difference. You can see he gets jammed off. You know, I mean, even even on that route, it's just a simple comeback route. He's still getting bumped inside. Both of them are to the cover two safety because that's the plan now. That's what EA's doing now. They're bumping these guys so that they're both looking at them right next to each other. Neither one of them are going to be open at any point in time. And if they were running a streak, they'd run right in that safety. So let's go and let's watch on the other side. Same same thing. So like I said, right here, he does not get bumped. He runs outside of the press. His route 
basically the beginning, the release of his route is impossible for the cornerback to redirect. Uh, it's either that or it's just not programmed. Either EA, when they did this, they didn't program anything for a route like this. But you can see how he runs inside. Same thing happens to this guy. He's getting bumped in to that safety's lane. You know what I mean? They're still pushing him into that safety's lane. But this guy right here runs right around it. And he basically is gone. Like I said, I don't really have a speed guy out here. But if I had a 93 or higher speed guy, I mean, it, would be, it wouldn't be close. As you can see, he's just basically running a route that just runs right down the field for a touchdown. Now, there's lots of other things that I could do uh, to accentuate that. I mean, if I put the A route on a streak, um, if I put the X route on a streak, I mean, I'm going to basically, I'm going to have even more openings on the field. Uh, but like I said, watch the X route. Watch how the X route's still getting bumped off. The A route here, like I said, he doesn't get bumped off at all. You can see how he just runs right up the center of the field. And it's all created based off of that one route that's not getting bumped. So since the B route's not getting bumped, I mean, the X route, he's just, I'm only using the X route as a streak to basically hold that other safety to the left. He's going to get pressed inside. You're going to see right now. He's getting pressed inside like he's been getting pressed inside. Uh, but basically, I mean, he's just wide open. But basically, uh, the, the route where the receiver's not getting pressed inside is why this play is going to work again. So if you're not very good at making adjustments or you're not, you know, very good at reading a defense, whatever. If somebody's running a lot of cover two, you can call this play. Run it just like it is. And it's going to be a one-point touchdown against cover two uh, because of this route. I mean, I might run out of bounds here. But you can see, I mean, if you pass really too dramatically like I did there, you can run out of bounds. But you can see how easily it beats it anyway. I mean, even if you don't need a 50-yard touchdown bomb, you can see how uh, you're still going to have success. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just once he gets past that cornerback, he's just gone. Like I said, I continuously am almost running out of bounds. But you can see how, how easy this is. It gets past the cover too, all because they can't press. You know what I mean, this is an unpressable route. So let's go ahead and let's move on. I'll show you how this can also beat cover three. So this play is also a really good one play touchdown against cover three. Um, I find that, you know, I, I'm trying to make this as little adjustments as possible for people watching, but you need to at least make one adjustment on a play like this. You really have two options. The easiest way to do it is just put the, uh, the Y route on a streak. And that's all you really need to do. You're going to see right here, the uh, the cover three single high safety really gets flooded. And then you can see how I can just pass lead away and I can make that a really easy touchdown. That's based off of the comeback route. That's based off of the crossing tight end, everything. It's a lot easier if I just put the A route on a streak also. But for people that aren't really good at making adjustments, um, you know, you can always just put the Y route on a streak. If I put the A route on a streak, it'll pull that safety over and get a lot bigger window than what I just had, as you can see right there. So if I have my choice, I'm streaking them both. So the easiest way to do it is just putting uh, the Y route on a streak. So like I said, I mean, if I really want to kick it up a notch, put him on a streak, putting Murray on the out route and the smart routing him, this is going to be an even bigger play uh, because that out route holds that cover three cornerback down even more. I forgot to put the tight end on the streak to complete this, but like I said, the full setup, I'm going to do this one more time to show you what would be the ideal full setup if you are, um, you know, if you're if you're fast enough on the sticks, a lot of people aren't. But the full setup would be streak cook, streak gin, put get, uh, put Murray here on an out route and then smart route. Like I said, you can see how fast I did it. Starting over, like I said, that takes about like two seconds, not even, to do all those adjustments. But like I said, I know some people struggle. So like I said, big gap out here. Uh, and then like I said, I mean, when they see this formation, a lot of times they're probably gonna be worrying about that B route, um, the receiver on the outside, uh, which they're, you know, if you beat them once or twice. In a cover too they're not going to know why that happened that way with thomas so that's it that's the video i'm going to go to my end of the video there if you guys want to see more of this formation like i said let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below